Hello there, my Gemini Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, Geminis, what's up? What's up, Geminis? Oh, Geminis. Good energy there. Good energy there. Good energy exchange. I like that. Oh, a good exchange rate. What's up with this? Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Covering all that's the world. Ooh, good cycle of energy here. Uh, Gemini's. We've got Seven of Swords, Page of Cups, Seven of Wands, Page of Swords. Eight of Swords, and the King of Swords. Oh, Geminis. You need to be very, very mindful of what you give to emotionally. Uh, it feels like you got, you got a, a trapped-ass energy wanting to come towards you that's stuck. This Eight of Swords or this King of Swords energy, that's not you. That's someone in the Nine of Swords. They're not showing up that way because they got a good mask on. They're Page of Swords energy, so you might not even know who the fuck or what this energy even is. Uh, so be very mindful emotionally of who or what you bring towards you. You got something good heading your way. So really trust your, your gut instinct here. This has everything to do with your emotions. So, Gemini's, this is like don't do don't give to anything emotionally that isn't going to give you uh, a positive return on investment. Okay? Cuz your Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords, uh you're in a really good energy space. It is like the exchange rate is good. So you're, you've are you got a good positive energy, good positive vibe around you. But be mindful of that. Who is this Knight of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, Emperor Energy. Above the Emperor, Magician Energy. Gemini, this is a really good sort of comeback around energy. So this is um, what you give to emotionally, what you love, what you show uh, passion about. Um, something's going to be returned. The energy is going to be returned in a very interesting way. Uh, I don't feel like this is a romantic relationship or partnership because the Eight of Cups to the Emperor to the Magician... Uh, it's like a good sort of return on your emotional investment, if that makes any sense. You know, you can't quantify emotions. You know, happy, sad, whatever the fuck it is. Um, but you're getting a good exchange rate here. So be very mindful. You got like a, it's like you got this beautiful, loving energy around you that you can spread out. Because you're Ace of Cups, so that love is like ever flowing. But you're definitely mindful of uh, who gets it, right? If you're watering your crops, you know what crops need more water and what can go without. Uh, you're being very mindful emotionally of who or what you're giving to. And that's going to pay off in the end. It's really going to pay off. Um, so, Gemini's, I don't know if, if you were given to people, places, and things emotionally that weren't giving you a good return on investment, and that's going to change. Because you're the one that's able to give this, uh, the Knight of Cups to the Three of Cups. You're going to be the one that, that sort of spreads this peace, love, and light. It's emotional happiness. This, this isn't tangible. This is just uh, peace, love, and light, right? It, it's like uh, good energy. Good energy. But you're given to what kind of recharges you in the same process, right? I 
Think of it as an electric vehicle with a built-in uh, charging system in it. Uh, but Gemini's, this is like on an emotional level. Because it is a comeback around energy. Um, with the page of pen or Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Page of Pentacles, to the Nine of Cups, to the Eight of Cups, to the Emperor, to the Magician. It's like, uh, it just, that, that just keeps getting regenerated. Kind of like the fountain energy here. Uh, it, the, the love sort of generates itself and creates more. It's a good loving energy. Uh, yeah, that sort of cycle, positive energy. It's, it's secular in the fact that it just keeps being returned. So there's more to give. More to give, more to give. You're manifesting in this energy. I don't feel like it's it's a love relationship, though. I don't feel like this is just a singular energy. With that three of cups, you're able to kind of spread the love around, sort of, sort of speak. So whatever you do, the the love gets kind of put out there. The emotion. With the chariot there and the high priestess energy, this is just like you, when you walk in the room, you just kind of exude that sort of peace and happiness type energy. You know them people that just have that sort of air about them of uh, just peace and tranquility? They put you at ease. They put you at ease. They make you feel good. They have a good sort of manner about them. You're in that, but you're in that in a very good way that's, that brings about positive change it, it, it's it's like the battery that just keeps recharging itself a lot of you it's, it's that emotional energy the magician to the six of swords yeah it's like a, a conduit of happiness and peace peace love and light three six nine energy here two of wands so gemini's keep that energy up because uh, it's very positive. It's very hopeful. It's very soothing. It's very, uh, it's, it's an attractive energy. It's it's like positive ions going out there. You know, when you stand by a waterfall, the positive ions in the air. That's why you feel good around water. Between the uh, two of wands, the high priestess is this ace of pentacles energy. It's, <laughs> it turns into something malleable something you, you can see fell in touch it, it's um uh, it has its sort of payoff its reward in the end and gemini's is just really throwing out peace love and light it's like you tapped in you're tapped in you're tuned in and you're able to uh, send that out there but it actually creates something positive in return it's it's all positivity it's all positivity falling water when you're around fountains or waterfalls right the positive ions in the air as the water's falling I think I read somewhere they call that the Niagara effect. People that visit Niagara Falls and get around the falls with all that water rushing over. The positive ions in the air. But you've like tapped into it. And it charges you. You charge others. And it just creates this, this cycle. This beautiful circuit of energy. Which actually brings about something tangible. Because you got the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. And we end here with the Ace of Pentacles. So stay happy, stay positive, Geminis. You're definitely creating an effect with the Ace of Cups there to the Ace of Swords. Very magnetizing, very energetic energy. But you do have a uh, Nine of Swords energy. But this person is wearing a front. They're wearing a front. But that also goes to that Ten of Swords energy, which you had up there. So... Uh, uh, the cycle isn't going to be broken, Geminis. But do be mindful. Page of Cups energy, be mindful of, of that uh, 
the negative ions coming in. The negativity, Gemini. Gemini, the opportunist. Basically. That's going to show up in a false sort of energy. That kind of brings that little short circuit to the whole damn thing. Yeah. So be mindful of the energies you tap into, Gemini. You you got you got but who the fuck doesn't, Gemini? Be mindful of that. You can't save everybody, Gemini's. You can't you know, you do got to be mindful. You do got to have some sort of a, um, um, oh, what the hell. Clarifying, purifying energy around there. So that way you're not recirculating the dirty water. With this Ten of Pentacles. Whatever the hell you got going on, Gemini, someone doesn't like it. I told you, you had a fake ass energy in here in that Nine of Swords energy. You've disconnected from this. So, you know, you're in a good energy, but just be mindful of that negative energy. Someone doesn't like to see you happy. Peace, love, and light. Because they're in some dark-ass energy. They are in some dark-ass energy. Capricorn pretty much had the same style of reading to stay away from the like the black hole energy to just suck all light and life out of something. All bits of happiness. Stay away from bitter fucks. People that haven't done the uh, healing that they need to. Gemini's, you guys have done a lot of healing work. Emotionally healing work. And that shows up. But it's not something that uh, you necessarily see. It's something that people can feel. It's, it's a good exchange of energy. It's a positive exchange. You know those people you meet and they just, they just rub you the wrong way. You know they're just negative as all fuck. Or they drain your fucking energy. Uh, you need to make sure that you purify all that shit out. With the high priestess energy there, uh, you're you're really good. You're going to be really good at being able to trust that. You'll just know something don't feel right. Because uh, you're like surrounded by all these positive ions, uh, this positive energy, this positive outlook, this ability to send out peace, love, and light. We'll just fucking say it, Gemini's. But you do have to make sure you keep that filter system on to filter out the negative. Because that positive energy is going to agitate the negative ions. So you want to avoid that. And avoid the fake-ass people. They're not in peace, love, and light. They'll just clog your filtration system up. Oh, Gemini's. Stay in that energy. It's beautiful. It is a choice. It is a choice. Um, <clears throat> happiness is a choice. You do the healing work and you can send that out. It's like a recirculating pump, baby. But you do have to make sure you clean the filter. You keep the filter clean. You do got this energy around. Who the fuck does in Gemini? Don't harp on the negative because that just ruins the, the whole sort of aesthetic and shit, right? You've done the work. This isn't your energy. But you got some fake-ass energy around that's stuck in that. They don't like the light. These are people that don't love themselves. They'll never love themselves. They're not loving, kind, caring people. You know the story, Geminis. So keep that positive exchange going, Geminis. Because it fulfills you in so many different ways. It's a recirculated energy that just goes out. It's like Niagara Falls. Any any type of falling water energy. The positive ions in the air. Right? Even uh, during a rainstorm. The positive ions in the air. That's why you have that, uh, you know, after the rain smell. There's science behind it. Peace, love, and light, Geminis.